What's poppin' and welcome back to another episode of Fletcher the Fisherman, guys. And I just wanna go ahead and say sorry for the lack of content this month. It's been a struggle. The first part of the month I had a bunch of stuff going on and it made it hard to film just trying to get that stuff done. And then the second half, I've been cursed with rain and then I had a cold so I was sick for a few days. So between all that, it was like 10 days of me not being able to fish. And then uh, after that, the fishing just got terrible. I've literally gone out probably like four or five days in a row trying to catch some fish for y'all and it just has not happened for me and I talked to some friends and they've pretty much told me the same thing they have just not been able to catch them they've just completely shut down for whatever the reason it just kind of sucks but tomorrow I'm actually driving down south to meet up with KTB TV aka kicking their bass TV to do a little bit of clabbing for the next few days so hopefully I should have some awesome new content for y'all on the way but today's video is a video that I filmed back in the summer had a ton of fun filming it was definitely something a little bit different that I normally do and y'all seem to like what I posted last week uh, from earlier in the year as well. It's kind of similar to that, just kind of like a fishing adventure. So if you enjoyed that last video, hopefully you enjoyed this one. Not a ton of people saw it when I had originally posted it, but I wanted to go ahead and do a giveaway for y'all as well because I haven't been able to give y'all any new content. So if you want a chance at entering this, guys, I'm going to be giving away some Powerbait and Maxent General Worms right here a few packs of those, and a JDM frog. So if you want a chance at winning that, just drop a comment down below letting me know where you're from and what your favorite type of fish to fish for is. I'm just kind of curious as to what y'all are fishing for out there, and it might give me some ideas on what kind of content to make in the future. But anyways, guys, I think it is time to jump into the video, so let's hop into it. think that's it what is going on guys as you can see right here I got a bunch of stuff I just went to Walmart picked up a bunch of things and as you can tell it's a bunch of different little lures and the reason I had to go pick up so much stuff is because today we are fishing for a fish species I wouldn't say fish species I guess kind of but we're fishing in a area that I typically do not fish at all and that is a mountain creek. Today we're gonna to be targeting little smallmouth, little other smaller river species, like little bluegill or little sunfish, things like that. And hopefully, just maybe, there's a slight chance that we might have a chance at a trout or two. I know this specific creek, I'm actually in Chattanooga, Tennessee, if y'all are curious. This is the North Chickamauga Creek, I believe is the name of it. I actually was like Googling it and stuff last night, just kind of seeing how the fishing was. And supposedly, they actually had it back pack stocked with a, like 200 trout twice in March and April so there are some trout in here supposedly I don't know if they've all been taken out or if they've all moved downstream or what the case is but the goal of that project was well after I was doing a little reading was to actually hopefully get a natural population or well, I guess it wouldn't be natural since they stocked them but get a population of trout that would sustain themselves in this creek but I got a bunch of stuff with me here today man if y'all aren't from the south and you visit let me tell you bojangles not sponsored but should be man they got some good biscuits mm, oh my god that's so good that's so good cajun fries too fire basically the game plan today is to bring this little spinning rod and this fly rod with me on a nice long hike up this trail to get to some bodies of water that hopefully are a little bit deeper. I kind of like walked around the edge down here and it was not quite deep enough. I kind of looked on Google Earth, Google Maps, things like that, looked up the creek and it looks like there's some nice pools farther up the stream. So that's the goal. We probably have to hike up like a mile, mile and a half to get there. Our first step before we do anything, a little sunscreen. I might not be the biggest fishing channel on YouTube, but I can promise you guys, no one's got me beat on paleness. Pale is fishing YouTuber, confirmed. I would challenge anybody to beat that, but you know, gotta stay strapped with a sunscreen. All right, maybe, maybe cover that up. Don't want sunscreen chicken sandwich. That's uh, that's probably not gonna be too good. Let me just tell you, for y'all that aren't ultra pale like I am, consider yourselves lucky. My <laughs> my fishing expenses go through the roof in the summer for these little bottles right here. These are like $12, $13 a pop and I fly through them. You know, you gotta have the convenience factor for the spray, just the, the rub on just doesn't quite do it. Most important guys, the ears, can't forget the ears. No melanoma on this channel, guys. That is a fact. I need to start setting up. All I'm doing is eating my chicken sandwich. 
So for the fly rod, we actually need to change our leader right here, or tip it, or whatever you want to call it. Gotta get that off. This is 0x for bass. We're gonna switch over to 4x for some of these little smaller creek fish. Quick pro tip, do not eat a greasy chicken biscuit before you try to tie fishing knots. It makes it much more difficult. That plus the sunscreen, this is um, this is proving to be quite the challenge for me. One little final little snip. We're ready to rock and roll right there, folks. Fly rod rigged and ready to go. Ooh, just when I thought I was done. Bonus prize, you always gotta check the bottom of the bag for the bonus prize. Well, if you can't tell by all the sweat, it's about an hour later now. I was trying to talk to y'all about setting up this little spinning rod, and what do you know? A car pulls up right next to me, blaring trap music for like 30 minutes straight. So I was trying to wait it out, so I decided just to go film some B-roll, some drone shots, stuff like that. Came back, now I'm soaked in sweat. It is hot as all can be, but got my little rooster tail tied on right here. I think it's a 1 16th ounce, don't uh, I wish I still had the wrapper. It's somewhere in the car in the trash basket. I think it's a 1 16th ounce or a 1 8th ounce little rooster tail. This one is just like a black and silver color. I think it'll look nice and natural here in this clear water creek. So we're just gonna go ahead and put that right there and I think we're about ready to hit the trail, ready to go catch some fish, and ready just to do a whole lot of things besides sit here and sweat and not do anything. So let's go ahead and pack up all this stuff and it's about time to grab the camera and hit the trail. Oh my God, it is <laughs> taking forever to get going. I'll see y'all at the first spot. I got about a, a mile to hike this way. Plot twist, it's actually the next day and I'm out here with my girlfriend Suzanne and we decided to get up bright and early and be the first people out on the trail because yesterday when I came out here after I was done being set up and all that, it was crazy busy with people. This is a really popular like swimming hole, also hiking trail, and basically every pool of water I got to where there might be some fish was just filled with people. And I'm sure with all those people, I probably still could have caught some fish, but the biggest problem was they're all blaring music. So that just was not gonna happen for the video. Unfortunately, I can't have that in the background for YouTube purposes, but we are back out here, decided to be the first people out on the trail today. So we can get out to all these little honey holes before anyone gets out here, before anybody disturbs them, and hopefully find us the biggest, baddest fish in this creek. We have arrived at our first spot. Check this out, guys. Climbing up this big rock. Rock. This is known as the blue hole off of this little trail right here. It's a big deep area where people jump off these two rocks right here into this little abyss. I already see a few little fish swimming around down there, but hopefully we can get these baits out in the water. A lot of these fish are gonna see, especially what Suzanne's got on over there, that little rooster tail. Once she casts it out, that thing's gonna sparkle like crazy in the water out here. And all these fish from all these little crevices are gonna start coming out here. We'll probably draw out a ton of fish like all these little rocks that have overhangs, fish get up way up under those, all up underneath this. So it'll be interesting to see what all comes out of this giant little blue hole right here. Let's go ahead and get this thing tossed in here. Let's fling it out there. Oh, that fish like literally hunted it down in the air. He's already on it. It's a little smaller fish. I see a little small mouth right there. Let's see if they will come up and eat this thing. Give those fish a break for a minute. Go over here, see if anything will shoot out over here to come after this thing. Putting the little rooster tail up for now. I'm gonna try something a little bit more subtle with the fly. That might be what I need to get one of these fish to bite today. Well, these fish just seem to have absolutely zero interest in anything we're throwing at them. They were kind of interested in the little rooster tail right when we got here, but they just quickly just got disinterested and they just didn't want to fly. So we're gonna move up to the next hole right up the stream. This is like the most popular spot for people. So I figured these fish would be kind of finicky. So let's go ahead and grab the gear and get moving. We're rolling up on spot number two. This is the road a little less traveled by, so hopefully these fish aren't as finicky. But man, is it crystal clear. These fish are giving us a little bit of a headache this morning. This water is just gin clear, as you can tell here behind me. So they're just really, really picky about what they're gonna eat. And right now I have this rooster tail on and I just, I don't think it's quite realistic enough. So I got these other little 
spinning, I guess they're almost like flies. And right now the mayfly hatch is going on around here. So I got a few flies that kind of look like mayflies. And that is exactly what I'm about to put on this little bugger right here. It's got a nice little shiny blade on it to really pull in fish. And then it's a little bit more realistic looking once they get up next to it. So hopefully they're gonna chomp down on that. Guys, there's two really good smallmouth right on the edge of this. I'm gonna cast this out there. So hopefully they can't see me. I just don't want them to see me. They're just all so interested. They just don't want to bite it. It's times like this, I wish I had a little Ned rig. Just a really petite bottom bait. That would just be perfect for getting these guys' attention. So I think they're just super, super finicky. I think this is just a little too much flash for their liking. Yay, there we go. Finally got one. Finally got one. A nice little, it might be a little small mouth. I can't stuck right there come on up here bud come on up here we're gonna see what it is i think it is just a little baby smallmouth. that's exactly what it is guys our first fish of the day or no i think it might be a red eye bass that's what it is as you can see guys this water behind me is just gin clear we've been at it for a while we've probably been fishing for about an hour right now so many fish are kind of interested in what we're throwing in the water but it's just so clear they're just so finicky and just really really particular about what they're gonna bite this guy hit it almost as soon as i put it in there was like a little pack of them down there i actually saw them like wolf packing down the creek bed this way and i was hoping one of those guys would bite something because those wolf packs of fish, are they're a little bit more aggressive because they're competing with each other, trying to get bait so they're a lot more likely to bite something and that is exactly what this little guy did. It took him a while to bite though. I was kind of messing with them and finally I just tossed it right in, like right as they kind of like got right up here next to the rock, plucked it right away. That is a nice little fish to start off the day. Let's go ahead and release this little guy. This crystal clear water, man, it's so beautiful. Off he goes. Dang, guys, oh my gosh. There was like a two and a half pounder that was about to smoke this thing. And I was like dead focused on it and now I'm stuck on this rock. That's a bummer, guys. I've been I've been at this for a minute and I was finally gonna get one, a big one to bite. And I, you'll probably can't see it right down here. There's a little ledge in that water and he was hunting it down. All these little small fish were coming out of the cracks, like nosing right up on it. And he was getting really, really just territorial and was just interested in it just because all the other fish were and the second he got up on it it got stuck on that rock i was just like laser focused on the fish watching him like come down on it and i just wasn't paying attention when i should have to like where that bait was in the water column and it just totally ruined my opportunity there but hopefully we'll get another chance fly rod from you. I'm gonna try to get these fish with the fly. There we go, got one on the fly, finally. <laughs> this is just a tiny little pip squeak. Come here, buddy. I'm not quite sure what kind of fish this is off the back. Well, here he is, guys. I have no clue what type of fish this is. I actually meant to like do some research on what types of fish species might be in here. I, I look for trout to see if there would be trout in here. This is definitely not a trout. It's definitely not a bass. I think it's some kind of like guppy. I'm not sure. I'm sure some of y'all in the comment section can correct me on what kind of fish this is. Just if you know what it is, comment down below. Tell me what kind of fish this is. But it's definitely a cool little catch. My first little fish of this species. Don't know what it is, but thank you for biting little bud. Let's go ahead and get him back in. All right, little bud. Let's see you swim on. Kick for me kick for me. There he goes. Off in a flash. Found us a little slithery boy right here hanging out in the water. I think that's a copperhead. I'm not too good with my snake identification. I probably should be better but it is a little, little guy just hanging out here in the water. Just curled up, you gotta watch every step you take out here. Take it, take it, take it. There we go, got one. Ha ha, fish number three. 
And our third species of the day. It looks like maybe a little bluegill. I think that's what we got. I'm not sure. Hold on. Nope, not a bluegill. There we go. I thought it was a bluegill. Definitely not a bluegill. <laughs> God, I really meant to, like it was on my list of things to do this morning to look up what these fish species were for y'all because I knew I wouldn't know the names of them. I think it's some kind of like, it's either a war mouth. It's not a long ear sunfish because I know those guys have like right here, this little part of their gill like kind of comes out like that. It might be some kind of little green sunfish. I'm not, I'm not exactly sure, but it is our third species of the day. I'm thankful for this little bite. These bites are coming few and far between. We've hiked up uh, quite a ways, I mean, uh, Suzanne, what would you say, like at least like two hours up the creek? At least, maybe three. Maybe three, so it's been a hot minute. So I'm thankful for this little bite. Let's go ahead and get it back in. Shoots off into the depths. Well, while you're messing around with that fish, I accidentally snapped the tip off of my little spinning rod right here, unfortunately. Uh, thankfully, I just was able to kind of like make it work. We're just gonna have to deal with this the rest of the day. That just kind of sucks. It's just what happens when you don't pay attention, just laid it down while we were kind of messing around with the camera stuff. One of us obviously stepped on it, not really sure who. Probably Suzanne, she's, you know, she's, she's trouble, I, I tell you. <laughs> but we're gonna get right back at it. These fish are definitely seeming to be getting a little bit more aggressive in here. I've had a few bites. When I cast it out, they're seeming to nip on it, especially some of the smaller ones. What I found that's been like really key is to make sure these fish cannot see you. Taking the longest cast I possibly can or being like hidden behind a rock. Like when I caught the one on the fly rod, we were standing on top of the rock and I dropped it straight down and he munched it. That one I just caught, I cast it all the way out there like where I couldn't even see the bait and I had a fish come up and smoke it there. There's another little school of little small bass way over there in the distance. So I'm gonna fling this out there, see if I can get one of them to munch it where they can't see me. Oh, 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 there we go. Ha, ha, ha. What I tell you guys, this guy's, oh, look at the big ones. Look at the big ones. Look at the big ones in the water. Look at those small mouth. Look at their small mouth. Oh my gosh. Dang, they were coming after it. This little stupid bluegill had to eat it though. I'm gonna go ahead and get this little guy off as fast as possible. I really hope one of those small mouth will bite this thing. Oh my gosh. That's what we've been after. I just want one good size bite. That would make my day just to get one smallie that's like over a pound and a half out of this creek. We've seen some that were pushing three, but if I can just get one that's close to that two pound range, that would be an awesome little creek day. Well, there he is, our little pesky bluegill. I'm thankful to catch him, but those small mouth were finally going after my bait. They definitely seem to be getting more active. I don't know if it's just this pool so far up away from like the beaten path, like way, way back there is pretty much where people stop coming up. So we've hiked up quite a ways where people really don't come that often. So these fish might be a little bit uh, more likely to bite, I guess, just cause they're not as used to seeing stuff thrown at them. I'm not really sure how often this is fished because I'm not from here, but nice little bluegill. Let's get him back in and see if one of these little small mouth will bite. We're gonna mix it up on him, see if I can't get him with the fly. Eat it, eat it, eat it. Yes, there we go. There we go, we got, I think it's a small, it's either small mouth or a little, um, a little big, uh, I wouldn't say, or a big red eye bass. Come here, yes, <laughs> on the fly. That's so much better catching it the way than uh, catching it on the spinning rod. Oh my gosh, come here, bud. Come here, bud. Yes, yes, sir. <laughs> oh my gosh, it makes me so excited. There we go, <laughs> got him. Oh my gosh, guys, I don't know if this is a small mouth or red eye bass. I believe it's a red eye bass because the eyes are in fact red. Uh, just, I just not quite sure. This is a great little fish though. Definitely our best one so far today. Got my little forceps here to just pluck that out of there. And that's a quality little creek fish. I've been hunting this guy down. Looks like he's got something in his belly right here. I'm not exactly sure what that is, but I'm pretty sure this isn't a small mouth. I've only caught one of them. That was with Alex Rudd the other day. And I don't believe this is one. I'm pretty sure this is a red eye bass. The eyes are red. I'm not sure how well y'all can see that or not but this is a nice little bass nevertheless, and I am thankful for the bite. But I do wanna go ahead and get him back in here. These fish definitely seem to be wound up, and I think I might be able to get another one on the fly. It's just a little bit more subtle than that spinning rod, and the fish seem to like it. They came up and smoked it right away, and there we go. First nice bass of the day. Time to release this pretty girl. 
They get revived. And she kicked off. Off she goes. Ha <laughs> ha! Yes. And I think that about wraps up our adventure today. Hopefully y'all enjoyed it. I really, really enjoy coming out here, fishing new bodies of water, fishing for new species, and just going on an adventure with you guys. It's something that I definitely want to do more often on this channel. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you drop a like and also leave a comment down below. Let me know that you enjoyed it so I can do more stuff like this in the future because I'll know you guys enjoy it and if you aren't already, make sure you subscribe. But as always, bass in this passion, peace out.